So we're in Clovis, California. We just finished installing a Bradford White 50 gallon natural gas water heater. One of the first things that we did is we pulled this dual ball B vent down out of the attic. The old pipe, which is sitting right there, you can see it was just shoved up into the attic space and that single wall, so it's not code. This still is not code. It needs a ceiling bucket, or minimum, what you could do, and this is what I suggested to the homeowner, is take and cut a minimum of one inch away from this pipe right here, all the way around, and once you cut it out, uh, I believe the outside diameter of the B vent is three and a half, and what you could do is, is get a, anything that's three and a half inches, and they make, probably right over at Home Depot, they have something. What you'd wanna do is take a flat piece of metal with a three and a half inch hole in it, and then split it, down the middle, so two pieces, and then one, two, screw it or glue it to the ceiling so that there's no gap, but you know that your pipe has the clearance of one inch. I'd recommend an inch and a half just to give it a little bit of clearance out there. Anyways, brand new single wall, that's ours. Brand new adjustable 90, that's ours. Brand new shutoff valve, watch quarter turn, um, quarter turn off, quarter turn on. Um, full port ball valve, and then of course brass nipple, falcon stainless steel connector down to a brass extension. On the hot side, a valve's not required, and uh, so falcon stainless steel connector down to a brass extender. Uh, a little piece of pipe going over to a falcon stainless steel connector, and uh, over to your existing relief line that runs out to the uh, entry sidewall of the house there. So that's good. Everything up top looks great. Got the uh, upper straps in, as required by code, and then lower straps, so that's good. Brand new gas shutoff valve, brand new gas connector, and uh, one of the projects that we did for the homeowners when we got here, the whole garage was flooded, and uh, so what we told them we'd do is we'd peel back, you know, the uh, the the stand, take a look at the inside. So we did, and uh, they they saw with us that the stand that the stand was saturated, lots of water on it, of course, uh, mold on the sheetrock, which now has been replaced down here on both walls. So we offered to go ahead and do that for them instead of trying to get other trades out here and coordinate with them, so we did. And uh, so we got you a nice framed stand in here. Um, so just like you'd see, uh, you know, framed on a house, double plates on top, and then of course, uh, double double uh, OSB board, sheetrock on the top. And so what we had on this wall, we just demoed back to where there was no more moisture uh, going vertically up the wall. Over to this side, it's outside of the water heater area. That is saturated, but that does not, the, the, the to replace that, um, you just need a drywall guy or do it yourself, cut it out, put a new piece in there, whatever you need to do, but that is wet right there. That's our drywall where we're screwed right there. All the way to the back and then it's taped and then joint compound on it. The platform itself, we put 5 eighths drywall and then of course, uh, tape and joint compound. And so it's all sealed like it should have been. This was a little bit more interesting. There's about a 3 8 plywood shear wall uh, behind this sheetrock. And so we looked at that and it was wet. So we pulled out everything that was wet and reinstalled some OSB in, board in there. And so that's brand new. And then this, well, there was a little more damage up higher. You can see this is about two feet off the ground. Over there, it was about 30 inches off the ground. And so we just cut it up a little bit further, put a brand new piece all the way out to that joint line. Again, we are not drywall contractors. Uh, what we were trying to accomplish is get you a new stand, remediate the water, get you new sheetrock on the wall. And now you're free to come back. Uh, you put whatever you want on here. You can do sheetrock and then do tape, tape, texture paint. You can come back and put wood on it because you're sealed at the wall right now. You can see uh, it's 5 8 drywall, 5 8 drywall, which is fire rated. And so that's good. Uh, so we spent quite a bit of time on that. Uh, anyways, hopefully, uh, you know, the homeowner's happy with, uh, you know, we, it was a little bit more than what we talked about because we had to charge them for the stand. But they did get a little discount uh, from our Yelp business page. And it's also on our website, so $100 off. So that was good. Anyways, uh, everything here looks good outside of that. This installation is done.